All right. Um, moving on, we've got Nux. How are you, Rohan? Doing well. Doing well. Thank you, Julia. Um, Next slide, guess, Justin. Yeah. So I can just share my screen and get started. Um, yeah. A little bit about me. I'm Rohan. I'm one of the founders of Nux. Um, if you didn't hear my introduction in the previous uh, uh, panel earlier today, um, I um, started my as engineer, I actually did AI research. Then I led the go to market team for about four years at Nooks, and now I lead product. So I kind of have a kind of variety of resource and product uh, uh, experience from product to engineering to sales. Uh, but excited to show you guys what Nooks is and kind of what, what we do. So let me share my screen. So at a, at a high level, um, Nooks is really um, it's a tool to help teams build more pipeline over the phone. Um, if you were on the panel earlier today, uh, you heard that um, from actual SDR teams that, you know, people are booking today 90% of their pipeline from the phone. It's one of the most successful channels, especially with the rise of AI and email and LinkedIn. And so we really help um, exist to help people get the most out of it, whether it's getting more conversations, training, enabling the team, data, all that stuff. Um, we kind of have a variety of different resources on that piece. Um what I will do is I'll actually just walk you through um, a demo of what Nux looks like and how, how it works. Um, so, you know, at our core, uh, Nux is a dialer. Uh, basically, what we allow you to do is we'll use AI to skip over bad numbers, voicemails, and identify the people likely to pick up the phone. Um, so over here, I can see my list of people. Um, we'll also research anyone um, using AI to pull in different signals. So, for example, um, when you do get connected, you know, you can see this like AI note that's that's popped up here. And I can see different observations I've seen about that person right here. Um, I can also, if you do have bad data, everyone knows about poor data. Um, we can actually enrich. We have waterfall enrichment built into Nooks. Where I can go click all select all my people. And I can enrich across a bunch of different data providers from Apollo, Cognizum, ZoomInfo, Datagma, uh, People Data Labs. We have even more. So you can set up your waterfall enrichment for phone numbers to get high quality phone numbers directly in Nooks. Um, and... One of the big things that's preventing people from having good connect rates is their numbers gets marked as flam, spam. So we do have really strong spam protection where we'll verify numbers, uh, protect against spam and alert you if a number does get marked as spam immediately. So you can get your connect rates higher. Um, oftentimes people, we see people switching over from like outreach or sales opt and they'll see like 2x higher connect rates because their numbers are clean. Um, what I will show you is I'll actually do a live demo of what Nooks looks like in action. So I am going to go and select a practice list. Now, this isn't a real list of prospects. These are actually fake people, but one of these is hooked up to our AI role play simulator. So this is how I'd actually practice using the bot, uh, practice using our dialer. But it can also show you how fast you can get through your dials and um, essentially get through your dials a lot faster. You're spending less time, less time dialing and more time talking to customers. So when I click the start calling over here in the top right, what's going to happen is it's going to start dialing the different people in the list. Um, our AI is going to detect when it hits a voicemail, automatically log the call, and then keep going to the next person. And you can actually see the AI listening in and seeing what, you know, this is a voicemail. So it's going to detect that and switch over to the next person. If I get connected um, to a number, um, it'll actually connect me and then I'll be able to have that conversation. Um, let's see if that's gonna work. The number might be dead. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I actually do get a conversation. We have our AI training like role play simulator and you can actually do a call with an AI. I'll show you a little bit of how that works. Hey, this is Jim speaking, who's this? Hey, Jim, this is Ron from Nux. How's your day going? I'm doing all right. What's this about? Jim, I'm calling because uh, I am selling a product called Nooks. We help teams get more conversations faster with um, with AI. Uh, Jim, curious if you guys are doing cold calling over at Netflix. Yeah, we do outbound. Why? <laughs> I'll pause there, but you can basically have the full conversation. You can practice with AI before you do your calls. Afterwards, you'll get a full AI summary of your call, and then you can log that back. And we have really in-depth reporting on what you're doing on the on the calls. You can break down your conversations by persona, so who you're talking to. And my favorite one is actually the scorecards. 
So at Nux, we have AI scorecards. Let me actually go here and pull up um, a good example of a scorecard. Uh, let's see, let's filter for connects. This is our call library. So all calls are can be transcribed and recorded. And then you get this AI summary after a call is done. And then you get a full scorecard on the different um, things, whether in the opener, the discovery, the product pitch, on how you can improve on those calls. Um, so again, just to recap, um, at a high level, uh, we support um, from start to finish making dials um, more efficiently. We have an AI dialer. Uh, we have summaries after calls. We have, you can listen to music. Um, we actually have this sales floor, which I can show you as well. So you actually make calls with the rest of your team. I'll just show you what that looks like. So this is the rest of the team and you can actually see and listen to hear them while they're making calls. Um, but I'll pause there. Uh, that's kind of a high level summary of what Nux does. Again, just anything pipeline related. Uh, typically customers, when they're bringing on Nux, they see three to five X amount of conversations and two X amount of meetings booked over the phone once they switch on to Nux. Super cool, Rohan. I don't even know where to start with the questions, but let's do this. What kinds of integrations are coming? So we integrate with basically every SEP um, and um, CRM. So Salesforce, HubSpot, um, I'll stop sharing. Uh, Salesforce, HubSpot, Apollo, um, I reach um, the, let's see, what else? Um, we our Groove is coming out very soon, um, and then yeah, that that's pretty much all of them. So there's about like five or six integrations, but most major SCPs uh, we integrate with. What's your favorite call call opener? Favorite call call opener. Um, I always do like how's your day going. Um, just kind of almost like catch people off guard. They're like, oh, like is this a friend calling, etc. And then you kind of go and ask if you have uh, thirty seconds. So yeah. How do you deal with the delay on pads? On, um, I'm sorry, on what? Pads. Pa pads or? Yep. I think well, maybe is it? that the calling delay, like the, the beep? Oh, yeah. oh, the bridge time. Yeah, yeah. So when you die with Nooks, um, we, there's, the prospect doesn't hear the beep. Um, and 90% uh, of our calls are bridged in half a second or less. So uh, there's basically, if you are kind of prepared and like looking through your dials, you basically will be, um, it won't be noticeable to the prospect. Uh, we do kind of train reps to kind of like prepare. You have to get used to it if you're not used to a parallel dialer, but um, yeah, yeah. How have you approached the pricing model that's traditionally been a barrier to entry to parallel assisted? Yeah, um, I mean, our we charge a per seats pricing. Um, we have different tiers and um, we have, uh, you know, we're generally one of the more affordable options on the market, um, depending on, uh, I guess, depending on what our competitors are pricing at. So, <laughs> um, but we also include a lot more than just dialing. I think that's one other piece. Um, so we have like one of the most affordable like waterfall enrichment. We basically sell those at, at cost, um, those credits at cost. Um, we have um, uh, for the AI training enablement. So we do a lot more than just like the dialing. And so we think that kind of helps. Um, Helps people consolidate tools and into one solution. Another question here. It's fascinating you have a data strategy. How are you getting that more accurate than 30%? Um, so a couple of things. Uh, Nooks, because we have millions of calls happening in our platform every month, um, we can basically know which numbers are likely to pick up. And so we can kind of surface that to the user and show, I can actually show you guys. Um, let me show you. So in the dialer, you can actually filter for I go to my sequence tasks. You can you filter for numbers that are likely to pick up so you can have higher connect rates and you can focus on those first. Um, over here, you'll see a pickup likelihood, very high, high, low, and then unknown. Um, so that's one thing. And then when you do waterfall and rich, um, we can validate numbers afterwards too. So maybe we know numbers automatic already invalidated by someone else in, in the Nooks community that's called it and knows it's wrong. So we can also have this kind of like self-cleaning data strategy as well, um, which helps get people better phone numbers. Lots of questions about Clay integrations. Yeah, I mean, we we integrate pretty well with Clay. So you can pull, um, you can write Clay to like custom fields and then you can like pull those into Nooks. 
one of the things that's really cool is like all this data right here is like fully customizable. So, you know, your call history, you can drag around and reorder these things. You know, you have the person's LinkedIn. So this is all like customizable. And one of these could be like a clay custom field. So we have a couple of customers that do that as well. Um, yeah. Um, lots of really philosophical questions. Um, does mm -hmm. AI simulating calling coaching work? It's a good question. Um, when we first built it out, it was kind of like, we weren't sure. It was actually built out as a hackathon. Um, and it turns out it's really helpful for a couple of different reasons. Um, one, just for practice, or like when you're onboarding and ramping, just it's well, I mean, in general, in most other industries, practice helps. And so if you do practice, you get the talk tracks, it kind of becomes second nature. And so you don't have to do that with real prospects and burn real prospects. So that's one use case. The second use case we found is it just helps um, and I'll actually give you an anecdote on that. Um, we recently had a class of SDRs start at Nooks. Um, their first week was spent basically just doing all calls with a prospect bot. Second week in, they were doing calls and they were booking meetings on their first call uh, because it was already so second nature. They'd already talked about what Nooks does. They'd handled all those objections. They were pretty much ready to go from the get-go. Um, so that's like the onboarding use case. And then the second use case, which we weren't expecting, but um, it did turn out to be really useful, was just like, practicing before you start your calls, right? So you do one call with the AI, you know, you get the, the, you practice getting hung up on and then you go into your real calls. And we found actually that people that do that have higher con connect to conversation rates than people that don't. And we actually did an A-B test with one of our customers. Um, and so the people, the reps that were actually using the bot were actually having higher conversion rates on the days they practice and the days they didn't. Lots so. of personal questions for you, Rohan. Uh, which tech solutions and companies do you admire the most? Um, which tech companies? I think um, that's a, so, I mean, I think I really, a lot of what inspires Nooks is kind of what's, you know, Google's approach, this is a long time ago, so like <laughs> several decades ago, but I do inspire how, I am inspired kind of how Google was started with, you know, originally there was this idea of Yahoo, which was, for those that don't know, basically they were the predecessor to Google. And they were basically um, a manual curation of all these uh, all these website links. And then Google kind of came around and said, hey, we're going to just index everything. And we're going to use AI, basically, and, and that time it was PageRank, to basically surface like relevant pages to you. And I think sales are going through a similar transformation where it's like, basically, there's this concept of, you know, before everything was like, had to be entered in the CRM. Today, you can use AI to structure all the data that you don't have. Um, so I think I'm excited about that. I also admire, I think... Some of the major um, sales tech players like Gong, um, Ramp, I think is a really cool startup as well. So there's a lot of a lot of startups I think I admire different parts of the company. What do you think is the best cold caller in the biz? Best cold caller. Ooh. Um, there's a lot of really good ones. I think it's all really specific, but the best cold callers are the ones that have the best tone. And they almost, when they call you, you feel like they're like a friend and you're just like, am I supposed to be talking to this person? And um, those are the people that it's really hard to uh, train that. You can practice it, um, but the tone is one of those things that I think, and and frankly, that's also why actually practicing with a, with a training bot can actually really help because you can practice that tone too. Um, it doesn't come naturally to a lot of people. And so I would say best cold callers are the people that have like the really friendly, just almost seem like a friend. Amazing. Justin Michael, what question do you got? I don't know. I'm going to probably get asked about permission-based openers. Did you already ask that? Yep. It's a nuance, you know, people argue like how to open a phone call. I wonder if you have data on that, you know, whether you ask yeah, permission so we do. or you don't. We do. We, it's interesting. We ran a study and we looked at the people at Nooks that had of the, that were in the top 10 percentile, or it might've been one percentile of conversation to meeting book or connect to conversation rates. Um, so who are the people that like literally convert at the highest rate? And it turns out um, most didn't use a permission-based opener. I think it was like less than half or more than half, majority were not using permission-based openers. They were using openers that were like basically a context and relevancy based. So like, Hey, I noticed you were doing X, Y, Z. Um, you know, I noticed you guys were hiring or, you know, as sales development re leader, you know, you're probably struggling with cold calling. Uh, so, you know, I think both can work. Honestly, I think tone matters more, but I have seen that, you know, uh, permission-based openers are a little less common than they used to be. Um, 